Lifted this up here and uh, taken the screws out of, out of down there. That was the spare screw down there. Uh, g'day, Peter here from Comfort Zone Insulation. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoy our next video about insulation. And just remember, if you need a quote, click on the link and uh, we're happy to help you out. Okay, so just installing one of these solar green vents on the roof. Um, I haven't taken the solar panel cover off yet so it doesn't start up the motor. Uh, and there it's got a thermostat on them. And they're quite a good vent. They've got the flashing on the bottom there and everything. Whereas some of the vents uh, don't come with a flashing. Uh, so that's got to go over here. We've pulled out uh, eight tiles out of here. Now, the recommendation in the manual is actually to cut this uh, batten off, um, but um, uh, I, uh, I think that it's probably better to leave that batten in place and uh, use it to screw the vent down on. And so we'll put the vent in there, screw it down, and then we'll put the side tiles back in place. Right. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And when I position the vent, I want to position it so then the, the top flashing um, just about lines up with the top of this tile over here, right? So then, so then these tiles come far enough forward over over the top of that top flashing. I'm going to put a screw in the top there and on the other side, and then slide those tiles down over that. Right? And the screws that I use have got a nylon washer underneath them too to stop them leaking. And then, uh, and then down here, I'll we'll probably put another screw in on either side down here to hold the hold the vent down there and then and then we want to position this so then so then this tile that's underneath overlaps this flashing here on both sides so see this this one here is going to overlap on the bottom sides the tongue's actually underneath this so it's going to be back over here so so as long as the the tile underneath overlaps that on both sides uh, and then and then of course our flashing now just pushes in nice and neat along the tile face on the bottom. So I'll show you the next step in a second. So this is all the um, uh, the line up is all lined up nice and neat and I've put a screw on either side uh, to hold it down and made sure that my flashing fits nice and neatly. Okay, and so this is uh, just put the tile back in on this side and put the tile clip back on and then I'll just slide those down over the top of that. <laughs> Hard to do with one hand. But... There you go, so and that'll, that'll just move into place and then, uh, then we'll slide the others down on that side and uh, put these two in this on, on this side the same. So, so they'll just slide in there. And sit over the top of that so any water that comes down here goes onto the flashing and down and this little gutter stops the water from splashing up uh, and going sideways if it gets blown in so, so that's as easy it is to uh, fit a solar vent okay so uh, I've just lifted this up here and uh, Taking the screws out of, out of down there, that was the spare screw down there, put it in up here to hold it up on an angle. Um, but of course, it's not facing the right way yet, so uh, you have to undo these little nuts here a little bit, and then once they're undone, uh, you can twist it around to face towards the sun. So um, that's what we do there. I'll probably need to uh, um, slide him across a little bit more. All right. Okay, so to get the right angle on the sun, I just had to undo these um, and, and fold it right over. So then I can undo all of these nuts and washers off of here, lift the plate up, turn it around one, and then put it back down. So then this here faces north. Okay. Now 
Okay, so I've just lifted that up. I had a little bit of trouble because this is siliconed in the middle, so you have to lift each one up and slide it around a little bit, put a bit of tension on it until you can get it to, to move over. <coughs> um, and then, uh, then put those screws back in again, or the nuts on rather, and then I can fold this over again, and you'll hear the fan start up. And then we'll just put these supports up. Yeah, so and I'll put the screw back in there and then and we're all done.